as an industry, vastly underutilizing video, despite the fact it's prevalent everywhere we go. Most people are consuming content in video format across the board from a consumer standpoint. However, what I find in a lot of L&D organizations, what I'm seeing in terms of trends in our orgs, video is still vastly underutilized. We're not digging into it. And there's still a number of things that I think are holding people back from really getting into this. Some of it is just the reality that video is often perceived, I think, as a more complicated medium to work with, which, to be fair, there's some truth to that. It is much more complicated to work with video as a medium than text. I agree with that. While at the same time, if you're not following the trends and the technologies that are working with video, it is actually becoming much, much, much easier to work with video as a medium. There are a number of platforms that now allow you to edit and produce video like you would a text document. So I think the fact that we are shying away from video still reflects some of the historical complications and challenges that existed with video. I think there's some other things going along with that as well. I think there's still, despite the fact, and this is something that we talked about on the show, despite the fact many of us are used to being in Zoom meetings, we're used to being on camera for these, what we would consider informal interactions or even formal interactions, the idea of being recorded and then repurposed for learning, I, I personally have just seen in conversations and perceptions from people, there still is a fair amount of discomfort with that. And some of this comes, I think, from the idea that we're still largely, not just us, but I think people in general are largely uncomfortable with content that has them in it. 